All right, imagine this for a second. You're building a house and the contractor comes to you and asks you how tall you want your front door. Now, you can either tell him how tall you want the front door in inches or feet, or you could get back and tell him to go back 100 yards from the door and then get a protractor out, put it on the ground, and then make an angle with the ground at a certain amount of degrees, and then that's how tall you want the door. Now, that doesn't really make sense, right? The latter example is really complicated and it requires way more math than should be used. All we need is a linear unit of measurement like inches or feet to give him the proper height for the door. Reverse that situation and that's what happens when we start thinking about our rifle scopes in terms of linear units of measure like inches for example. Now one of the biggest, biggest things that we see out there with shooters is when they try and con uh, convert MOA into inches or inches into MOA. And uh, that really can mess us up, especially as we get out to long range, because now we're trying to do this really complicated math when really our scope already provides many of the tools needed for us to either dial, hold over, or make corrections at longer ranges. Now, uh, for reference, if you're just shooting at 100 yards or something like that, usually you can use the one MOA to one inch, for example, plinking and stuff like that. It's accurate enough, but at long range, this really becomes important. When you take shots, and, uh, and again, if you need to make corrections or dial, or hold over, uh, use your reticle, your rifle scope's reticle. In this case, we have an HST in MOA, and it has hash marks on the reticle that are also measured in MOA, just like our turrets are. And if we take a shot, let's say we're two MOA to the left, at any distance, any distance at all, we can look through our reticle on the calibrated magnification, and again, in this case, second focal plane. And if we see we're two MOA to the left, all we need to do is dial two MOA to the right. And we've already made our correction. We didn't have to do any math, any conversion of angles, or anything confusing like that, really. And uh, we're also much more accurate. Because again, that one MOA to one inch thing works at 100 yards, but it's actually got a little bit of margin of error. And the further out we get, the more and more that breaks down and the less and less accurate it gets. So basically, bottom line, always think in terms of whatever measurement your scope has. Again, this is the case for MRAD and MOA, but we see people do this with MOA uh, a little bit more often. And uh, once you start thinking in terms of the measurement that your scope is in, which is what it's designed for, MOA or MRAD, shooting can become a lot easier for you and a lot more fun and uh, less math. So uh, anyway, hopefully that makes a little bit more sense Obviously, it's pretty tough when we use linear units of measurement all the time and only convert to or go to angles when we're shooting. But uh, once you do that, we think you'll have a lot better time out there. Let us know if you have any other questions, and uh, thanks for watching.